and click start. So as you can see, the software is being downloaded to your phone. Even uh, it's completed, the phone will reboot and you'll see this exclamation mark on it. I'll show you how to remove that, but it doesn't actually make any difference. You don't have to actually remove this. Right, phone. All right, the phone is rebooted. We have installed Insecure kernel on the phone. Then there is one more thing you have to do. You go to settings. settings and go to applications and uh, development and click this USB debugging on it and uh, phone is still connected through audio so you go in this folder in this folder uh, you can find Odin and uh, there's another executable as to root. Click on that one. Oops, uh, I have to install .NET Framework. I'll be come back. Come, <coughs> I'll be coming back after installing this. Hey guys, uh, whoever is having problems with uh, .NET Framework when you run it, try to run that as to root .exe. I'm on Windows XP. Uh, most of the people who are in Windows 7 won't get this error. I hope if he had, if they had downloaded uh, all the updates, but in XP you have to download manually uh, Windows uh, .NET Framework. You can do the do it by going it to uh, going into Microsoft website or you can do a Google search for .NET Framework. Then you'll come up with the link that you can download .NET Framework. Uh, my one, I uh, have, uh, have gone to Microsoft website and downloaded the web installer. So uh, right now it's in, uh, it's installing .NET Framework on my computer. So I'll be coming back after finishing this. Okay, guys, .NET Framework is successfully installed. So we'll go back to uh, this to root folder and click on this as to root exe uh, it says make sure you have done you have an insecure kernel on your device that's okay enable usb debugging that also we have done click ok Right, uh, it has opened up this window. You can click on this root device. This will install BCBox in your device. Uh, what it does is, is uh, it allows us to uh, execute some of the commands that are not available on uh, Android. So you may now flash secure stock kernel back to your device. Yeah, uh, you can. Uh, if you want to remove that triangle on your device, you can. Uh, now device has been successfully rooted so you can uh, install the secure version of the kernel on your device again so phone is rebooted again and if you go in there uh, instead of uh, it has installed busy box and uh, super user app on your phone So if you couldn't find super user application, um, don't worry. I think uh, this S2 root got a bug. Uh, 
run the program again. Uh, I will successfully install SuperUSA app in my third attempt. Now it's been installed and uh, you can go to preferences, SuperUSA application preferences and click on here. Okay, I'm gonna click uh, update date. So you can see it's requesting super user access. That means first phone is successfully routed. You can allow. It's failing. Let me try again. Okay. Phone is successfully, but the software is successfully upgraded to the latest version uh, with the super user privileges. That means phone is successfully rooted. So next thing we wanted to do is uh, we wanted to install Clockwork Recovery app uh, on it. So to install Clockwork Recovery, uh, uh, put the phone into download mode again by pressing volume down, power button and the home button again for a while, maybe 10 seconds. Okay, and hit volume up. Phone is on download mode again and click Odin and browse. Mm this uh, go to root root and click on this select this clockwork mod recovery and click start All right uh, that successfully installed And if you want to remove this triangle, uh, I'll show you how to do that. You can install that original version of kernel we have downloaded before. So it'll go off. We'll do that uh, after rebooting. All right, phone is booted again. And if you press volume up, power button and the home button again, to go to the recovery mode as you can see uh, now instead of going into android recovery it has gone to clockwork mode recovery So from here you can install any custom ones. Is you, know, you can see there are options. Uh, install SIP from SD card, backup and restore. Those options are there. So you, anytime if you want to backup a ROM, you can do that and restore it. Those kind of things you can do it by installing Clockwork Recovery Mode. So that is also done. So we'll reboot again. Power off. And uh, this time around, I'm gonna uh, install. I'm gonna put the phone into download mode again to install the original version of kernel. So we have to wait till the boot phone boot boots up. <coughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna put the phone again by pressing volume down, power button, and the home button again in download mode. All right, hit the volume up. Phone is on download mode again.
and uh, you can browse uh, the original version we have downloaded and click start so it's downloading to the phone and it will reboot this time you, you won't see the triangle it has disappeared so phone is successfully rooted and we have installed the original kernel pack now you have super user access plus we have installed clockwork mode recovery uh, to install any custom ROMs you wanted to install <coughs> So that's pretty uh, pretty much it. Uh, now uh, next time next in my next video I'm going to show you guys how to install Resurrection Remix. It's a nice custom ROM uh, that that gives you uh, Nexus Google Nexus feeling uh, experience. It's very nice uh, ROM, uh, very stable. So um, that's it, guys. Uh, see you in next video.